Hello Scorpio, welcome to your love reading. And we're gonna be looking at what's going on for you in love, pretty much everything that you would wanna know about what's coming your way or who you're dealing with. This is gonna be another 411 on your connection reading. As always, it's meant to be a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every Scorpio watching 100%. So just take what resonates for you, what applies to you, and leave the rest. You can also check out your other placements, your moon, your rising sign, or any other sign of significance. Sometimes those can resonate more. I have all of the playlists linked in the description box. So let's jump right in for Scorpio. Spirits, angels, guides, what messages or guidance do you have for Scorpio regarding love? Oh, what does Scorpio need to know regarding love? No. Let's see. Okay, what's currently happening for you in love or what you can expect? We have judgment and the seven of swords reverse. Yikes. <laughs> so the seven of swords reverse is usually a card about like being caught red handed or someone being seen very clearly doing something they shouldn't. So the fact that judgment is here with this, it's almost like, like a hammer coming down I'm trying to figure out what that's all about okay um any past energies or influences on this situation well the ten of wands makes sense this has been a burden on this connection and ace of cups oh i feel it's, it's an emotional burden because feelings are involved so it's something that maybe should be easy isn't The Ten of Wands keeps coming up for people in readings and I've been using different decks and it still comes up. I feel like this is kind of like a running theme with a lot of signs as we head towards like the holiday season, um, the end of the, of the year. I feel like there's been a lot that's happened this year and it's kind of all coming to some sort of like climax. How do you feel about this person? Oh, Seven of Pentacles reverse. Eight of Pentacles reverse. So you feel like you've wasted your time, your effort. Maybe you put in too much effort into something that didn't pan out. You feel like maybe you invested in the wrong person um, or you just were working towards something that you thought was going to grow and expand and it, that didn't happen. Something is not working, not growing for you here with this particular person. How do they feel about you? Two of Wands, King of Swords, Reverse. Yikes. Yeah, so they don't... I feel like this is somebody that has no clue what they're going to do. I'm almost picturing someone here that's like... I mean, typically the King of Swords, Reverse is a mean person, petty person. Um, they tend to be um, deceiving and hard to deal with because they're just on like this path of destruction basically and but I'm not picking that up it's almost like what I'm picking up here is someone that they're not using their brain <laughs> or their intelligence or communication they can't they can't think clearly they can't communicate clearly we'll see if I'm right about this when I clarify but I'm not picking up negative energy here I, I almost feel like this is somebody that's lost but I don't know why and I mean, it could very well be that they are the Seven of Swords Reverse, King of Swords Reverse, and then I'm wrong about that. Um, I'm just letting you know what I feel initially. Okay, so what do we need to know? Any hidden factors? Wow, Ace of Pentacles and Temperance, Sagittarius energy. These are powerful energies. I feel like there's like a resolution here something being resolved or coming into balance i don't know if it's between you and this person or one of you feeling this way or you know having some sort of opportunity that helps you regain balance i feel like this is happening behind the scenes where is all of this headed ace of wands reverse page of swords wow we have three aces two upright one reverse I feel like this is just basically saying almost like something's not going to begin until there's some sort of clearing of the air here with the Page of Swords or some sort of information is found out or someone 
digs deep or has a conversation. Why is all of this happening? Bottom of the deck, nine of swords reverse. Well, someone's no longer letting their fear control them. They're um, seeing a light at the end of the tunnel. This is somebody that is no longer anxious or worried, but um, sometimes the nine of swords reverse could also mean that someone's having like a breakdown of some sort, of a mental breakdown. But I don't think that's the case because right after that, I have the four of cups. So I, I literally am feeling that there's someone in this connection that is over it. They're no longer, maybe if they were controlled in the past by their fear or by their guilt, that's not how they feel anymore. That's not working anymore. So let's get into clarifying. Spirit, can I get some clarity please for Scorpio? For Scorpio, please, what do we need to know? Not a lot of major arcana is in this spread, just two. Um, typically major arcanas, they signify or symbolize like big shifts in energy. Um, so I feel like what's happening here is something small, but with the potential to grow or to bring about some sort of new beginning because I have so many aces here and I have a 10, the 10 of wands. So that's kind of what I'm thinking. I also find it fascinating that judgment and temperance are here. And both of these major arcanas have angels. Um, obviously, you can't really see it in this particular deck. Other Judgment does have wings. Um, but in the traditional tarot, um, this temperance card, there's an angel there as well. And angels are symbols of divine messages or the divine being, you know, in some way, uh, involved so okay let's see what all of this is kind of about we'll start with the nine of swords reverse because that's kind of why everything is happening what what can you tell us spirit about this nine of swords reverse why is the nine of swords reverse queen of cups why is the nine of swords reverse Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy there with the Queen of Cups. Why is the Nine of Swords reverse? The world. Yeah, this is all about the ending of a cycle and the beginning of another one. And this is, again, the world has shown up a lot too for other signs. I think this is just a common theme. But I feel like this is somebody that emotionally they're ready to let something go, I feel. Close a door and start a new one. Tell me about the world. And right before the world is judgment. Tell me about the world. What's the world about? Yep, the hermit. Virgo energy. This is somebody that I feel is thinking, okay, the energy that I'm getting is somebody that is planning or thinking alone. This is a solitary journey. Whoever's having a new beginning, they're, I don't feel like they're doing it with this particular person. Scorpio, let me know in the comments, are you with a particular person or in a connection that you are ready to move on from? Uh, this could also be somebody that has just been thinking about this for a long time. Virgo energy. Tell me about the world. The Hermit is also a spiritual card. This is somebody that is doing soul searching, um, listening to their inner voice or intuition, letting that guide them. Tell me more about the world. Four of Cups comes out again. And then the Nine of Pentacles. See, this is somebody single or independent thinking about this alone. I feel like someone has, I don't know if it's due to disappointment or what, but I feel like they're just thinking of themselves. Thinking of having a new beginning on their own. So if they are attached to someone, they wouldn't be attached, you know. I feel like this is kind of what's setting everything else in motion here is that somebody's thinking about this. 
And I feel like this is their intuition speaking to them. They're listening to their heart or listening to, maybe they're just in touch with their emotions with the Queen of Cups here. And I feel that that's probably why we have this judgment with the Seven of Swords reverse. It's almost like whatever's happening with the Seven of Swords reverse, someone's making a judgment call based off of that, like a final decision. Let's see. Tell me about the Seven of Swords reverse spirit. Why is the Seven of Swords reverse? Why is the Seven of Swords reverse? King of Cups shows up. Can I get one more, please, for the Seven of Swords reverse? Well, I'm confused now because King of Cups wouldn't do this. Tell me about the Seven of Swords reverse. Why is the Seven of Swords reverse? Wow, the Empress and the Three of Wands, the Chariot at the bottom of the deck. I feel like this King of Cups is you, Scorpio. I could be wrong about that, but I feel like this King of Cups is, let me just say if it's, it, let me just not put a sign on it. This King of Cups is someone that is recognizing their worth here i feel or recognizing who their empress is um and the empress is a symbol for expansion growth creativity abundance doesn't necessarily have to be a person but i feel like this is someone that's been waiting to make a move to leave walk away go in a different direction at the three of wands with the chariot here this is very interesting let's look at what judgment is about tell me about judgment telling you right now this king of cups is not the person being caught king of cups is not deceptive in nature in fact they kind of wear their heart on their sleeve they're very open um open with their feelings um they're not the best at communicating you know how they feel but they're not able to hide how they feel if that makes sense uh, King of Cups is very emotionally mature and stable as well. Tell me about judgment. Tell me about judgment. Why is judgment here? Oh, Six of Swords. This is definitely someone that's going to want to walk away. That's the judgment call. Someone's leaving. Interesting. I just got a message while I was thinking about this King of Cups of the Seven of Swords reverse. <laughs> tell me about this King of Cups. What can you tell me about this King of Cups, Spirit? What can you tell me about this King of Cups? King of Pentacles. Yeah, this is not the person causing, this is not the person being caught. But okay, so if this is not the person being caught, I feel this King of Cups is seeing someone very clearly. They caught someone or they realized who they were really dealing with. This King of Cups is leaving. They're just waiting for when they leave. This King of Cups, I feel this is Four of Cups. They're over it. They're thinking of themselves now. Maybe they're even gonna go after the Empress or they've realized their value. I'm too good for this. And this King of Cups, when I clarified, it, the King of Pentacles came out you know, kings are like at another level. They're not emperor level or empress level, but they're up there. I feel like this is someone mature. This is someone older with responsibilities. This is someone that perhaps likes to do the right thing. I feel like if this is you, Scorpio, you're ready for something new away from where you currently are at. Because Six of Swords showed up. So this is someone leaving the past behind. 
That's part of the judgment call. Someone's leaving. A lot of Ten of Swords wanted to come out. Tell me about the Ten of Wands with this Ace of Cups. Why is the Ten of Wands here? With the Ace of Cups. Why is the Ten of Wands here with the Ace of Cups? Five of Pentacles. Yeah, this is someone that's dealing with a situation. Um, it's difficult. I feel it's emotionally difficult. Could even be financially difficult here with the Five of Pentacles. What else can you, um, can you tell me about the Ten of Wands and the Ace of Cups? What can you tell me about the Ten of Wands and the Ace of Cups? Queen of Swords. Yeah. The Devil at the bottom of the deck, Capricorn Energy, and the Four of Pentacles. Someone was... Um, bound to something attached to something here with the devil and this queen of swords is here to help them cut the chains basically cut out this ten of wands let this burden go this is a person that has been holding on to something due to feelings emotions not because it's the logical thing to do tell me about this queen of swords Maybe they're afraid of being alone, afraid of financial difficulty, afraid of a loss. But it's not, it's not a healthy fear. Tell me about the Queen of Swords. I feel like it's just kept, kept this person stuck. Tell me about the Queen of Swords. Yeah. This is someone that, yeah. I feel like this Seven of Swords it was the final straw. The final straw. I don't know if that was the final straw for you, Scorpio, for this other person that you might be in a connection with. But I think this was like all that someone needed to see to cut out what they were holding on to. Or to at least recognize, because the Queen of Swords is very like, they read between the lines, they're very perceptive. Nothing gets past the Queen of Swords. She doesn't miss anything. Um, and the Queen of Swords is not interested in dressing things up nicely or trying to look at the positive side of things. Like the Queen of Swords sees things as they are. That's why she's so tough to approach and so tough to deal with because you cannot be as her. So let's see how you are feeling about each other. What are the energies between you? about the energies right, between Scorpio and this other person what are the energies between Scorpio and this other person if you're interested and want to check them out tell me about Scorpio's energy in this connection I feel like you're the one that's done just because of the energy that's showing up here for you Tell me about Scorpio's energies in this connection. Past life. You've had a connection with this person in the past. Memories, past life, nostalgia. Okay. Tell me about the person that Scorpio is dealing with. What are the energies that they're bringing to this connection? Parting ways, separation, divide, heartbreak. There's a disconnect between you. Broken silence. Open up, be vulnerable, and express your true feelings. And burning passion. I feel like this person got themselves into trouble here. Maybe they even caused a separation be between you or a divide between you. This broken silence is reminding me of that Seven of Swords reverse. Um, like someone that is... Uh, a secret revealed or something being expressed and might maybe even breaking the silence because they didn't tell you something before and they're ready to tell you now let's get one more 
I feel like the memories between you and this person, I don't know. I feel like um, this could be one of those situations where the past and the good times kind of keep someone in a connection. What else do we need to know? What else do we need to know first, Scorpio, regarding the energies they're bringing to this connection? Tell me about Scorpio. What do we need to know about Scorpio? Message of concern. Yeah. You've realized something. Maybe you're looking back at the past because we do have judgment here and being like, wow, what a mess. Um, why did I not see the red flags? Why did I not realize something before? Um, what I'm learning now is making me look at the past differently, etc., etc. Tell me about the person Scorpio is dealing with. What do we need to know about the energies this person's bringing to this connection with Scorpio? Marriage. Well, I hope you weren't dealing with someone married and you found out. You could have been married to this person, Scorpio. But I feel like there's a disconnect between you now. I did not expect to see marriage. I'll be honest. I did not expect to see that. I really hope that this isn't someone that was unfaithful in a marriage. Because that always makes me sad. Okay. Let's keep going. What do you need to know? We're going to be looking at this person, their intentions, next actions, true feelings for you. All of that is going to be in the extended because the extended is going to be the 411 on your particular person. Oh, wait. Let me clarify your energies before I jump over there. What am I doing? Okay. Okay. Let's um, clarify these energies here between you. I'll start with you, Scorpio. Like I said, when I first put these cards down, I think in your mind, this was a wasted effort. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles reverse and the Eight of Pentacles reverse. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles reverse and the Eight of Pentacles reverse. Two of Cups. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles reverse and the Eight of Pentacles reverse. Interesting. Can I get one more? Seven. I feel like I'm getting a story. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles reverse and the Eight of Pentacles reverse. Seven of Pentacles reverse, Eight of Pentacles reverse. Page of Cups. Bottom of the deck, Ten of Swords. I feel, yep, I feel, Scorpio, that you gave your all to this connection. And I feel like you opened up to somebody, probably thought this was it for you in terms of a, a par partner. But all it ended up being was something difficult. Either a difficult ending or just... A lot of work, but no reward. Now, your person is trying to decide something here with the Two of Wands and the King of Swords reverse. Perhaps they wanted to be on both paths. That would definitely be a King of Swords reverse thing to do. Tell me about the Two of Wands and the King of Swords reverse. Why is the Two of Wands here? The King of Swords reverse. Seven of Swords, what a shocker. Yeah, this was somebody that um, they they played, played you or deceived you. Tell me more about the Two of Wands and the King of Swords reverse. What do we need to know about the Two of Wands and the King? Oh my God, the Ten of Swords wanted to show up. Let me put that back. The, the Ten of Swords wanted to come out. Tell me about the Two of Wands and the King of Swords reverse. What do we need to know about these energies? 
Oh my God, there it is. <gasps> oh, okay. So the Ten of Swords did want to come out. Seven of Swords, Ten of Swords. That says it all, I think. Basically, everything that we've been talking about, this other person caused it. I mean, you can flip the rules if you want to. Three of Cups at the bottom of the deck. I feel like there was possibly someone unfaithful. Someone could have cheated. Or a third, par uh, third person might have interrupted things. Could be a family member. What else do we need to know about this person? Two of Wands, King of Swords, Reverse. What can you tell us, please, Spirit, about the Two of Wands, King of Swords, Reverse? All I'm seeing here is what they've done. Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like this person... Hmm, this sucks. Okay, we have Justice here at the bottom of the deck, Leaper Energy, the Wheel of Fortune, and Three of Cups. I feel like this is somebody that... Um, they they did this to the wrong person you can interpret that however you want to but that's the message i'm hearing they did this to the wrong person they it, you know it's one of those things like this is wrong and somebody knows this is wrong somebody knows that um the seven of swords to the ten of swords they know exactly what led to this difficult ending they know they were a part of it they know they are to blame etc cetera, etc cetera. But I feel like other another person might have been forgiving or another person might have given them another chance. I don't think you are that person. I think in the past you could have been that person. But I don't think you're that person anymore. The reason I say this is because I have the Ace of Wands reverse. So I feel like someone might be coming towards you to make things right, just as in the Wheel of Fortune. Try to turn things around. And this is what you need to know, that someone's thinking this. But I think the Ace of Wands Reverse tells me maybe when you talk about this with this person, it's not going to start a new beginning like someone's hoping. Yeah. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles and Temperance. Like, this is not going to happen the way that this person might be hoping for i think in their mind there's still hope but i don't think you're on the same page tell me about the ace of pentacles and the temperance card ha huh. the tower okay tell me more about the ace of pentacles and temperance what do we need to know wow tower Four of Wands. Can I get one more for the Ace of Pentacles and Temperance? Eight of Swords. Ten of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Nine of Swords. Wow, similar energy here. Page of Swords. Oh, Knight of Swords. So this is some sort of message, this tower. I feel like this tower is connected to this Page of Swords. Page of Swords is here with the Knight of Swords. Maybe this is a text or something. I feel like when this person contacts you, it might take you off guard. Like this might catch you off guard. Um, and I feel like maybe you might even not know what to do with the Eight of Swords. Or perhaps this is someone that cannot, like they're, they're afraid to, to lose you. I think this is someone trying to bring you an offer a big offer and hoping for balance again with the four of wands and temperance here both cards about balance but i don't know this tower tell me about the tower it's almost like you weren't expecting to hear this from this person tell me about the tower okay so it's i i don't think you were expecting the offer Maybe because you're not in contact or something like that. Um, I still don't know if this Eight of Swords is you or this other person. Tell me about the Eight of Swords. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Is the Eight of Swords here. Oh my gosh, the Hierophant. Taurus Energy.
Interesting. Nine of Wands, the Four, not Ten of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, the higher font. Oh my gosh. Okay. I think this Eight of Wands, um, not Eight of Wands, Eight of Swords is your person. And I think they're like desperate. You don't trust them, but they're going to still try. You're tired. You're exhausted. I feel like you're already like over this. Maybe this person can sense it. The fact that you're thinking about all of this on your own, wanting to do things solo. I think this person can sense it. And I feel like it's scaring them into showing themselves to be the higher font. The higher font is typically somebody that does everything right. They do what's expected of them. Okay, so let's look at this Ace of Wands reverse with the Page of Swords. What can you tell me about the Ace of Wands reverse with the Page of Swords? Tell me about the Ace of Wands reverse with the Page of Swords. The High Priestess. Tell me about the Ace of Wands reverse with the Page of Swords. Oh my gosh, the Nine of Swords again. Tell me about the Ace of Wands reverse and the Page of Swords. I feel like the tables have turned. Ace of Wands, Eight of Cups, yep. Yeah. This is just the classic tale. The tables have turned, Scorpio. When you were willing to be with this person and make things right with this person, I think they weren't on the same page. Now that you're walking away and ready to move on, they're freaking out. They're not okay with that. They're worried now. You were the one that was overwhelmed and worried before. I feel like you're overcoming that, but they're now stepping into those shoes, if that makes sense. You know, I feel like they're going to come in with this page of pentacles, there's temperance. Let's make things right. Let's go back to the way things were. And I think you're going to be like, no, thank you. I want to see what else is out there for me. I, I've already given everything I could give to this. And it didn't work out. It's almost like this person's worried that you're going to have a better beginning, a better life without them. Um, otherwise, I'll leave it here. Thank you so much for watching, Scorpio. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe so you can see more readings from me. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.